Well, John, first thing is, congratulations, another tenure of uh, becoming, uh, keeping chairman of the Essex County Cricket Club. Yeah. You've been delighted with that result. I am, yeah. I'm, I'm pleased because, as you know, Paul, I'm very committed and passionate for Essex and uh, it just gives me a chance, over, hopefully, over the next three years, just to put the final bits and pieces together particularly towards the ground and the ground development and just building the side and pushing hard for, for trophies, which I think, you know, we're, we're in line to win again. So, yeah, the next three years I'm hoping will be a, it's my final three years with the club. Uh, sorry, not with the club, with the committee. Um, and I'm going to make the most of it and give it my best shot, yeah. Well, most people will have obviously seen the success um, under your stewardship that we've had on the field. Won't necessarily see all the things that are going on off the field. Just... If we look three years ahead, and I know it's early uh, days yet, yeah. where would you like to see the club, obviously both on the field, the continued success, but certainly off the field? You mentioned there about the uh, ground development. Yeah, I mean, we want to make this the best non-test match ground in the country. Uh, that's the, the legacy. Uh, and we've, we're now putting together plans that I think that will deliver as just what we want. We, uh, the previous uh, development programme that got cancelled last year, uh, probably, if you're looking back, was probably too much for a ground like Chelmsford. What we have to do is take, we are not a stadium, we are a cricket ground, and we have to make the very best of that. So that's what I'm going to be putting a lot of time and effort into, but also continue the growth through the academy, making sure that we're bringing on young players for the future, and also our work in the community. You know, we've seen the good work that we're doing in East London, um, the rebirth of Leighton, so this is all very positive steps you know, moving forward and that's where I see us moving, working closely with the community, uh, developing the ground, bringing on the players and making Chelmsford the place that people want to come and watch cricket. And what would the overall capacity be um, ultimately when the, well, all the ground development has taken place? I think we, we're possibly looking to go an extra 500. Now lots of people talk about well, why don't we have two, three thousand. Yes, that's ideal, if you could make it work and if you could actually fill the ground. We know we could probably fill, put some more uh, backsides on seats for, on the T20 games, but cricket is in a very, uh, I say difficult, but it, we're going through a, a transition right now. And if you start getting into the ideas that if you're going to sort of go way above yourself, then you can have a problem. And I think there's a lot of uncertainty around cricket. We want to make sure that we remain financially viable. So everything we do here, we will do with this within an established budget, one that we know we can afford in making this ground better. I'm not prepared. I've always said, and I will not move from that. I'm not going to go into debt. I won't borrow. Everything we do here will be what we can afford. We've done it all along and it's worked. Yes, we know the ground needs work and it, it is tired. And we have to give the members better facilities and make it more enjoyable and more pleasurable to come and watch Essex play. And we will do that. But, and it, but we can't do it overnight. And we'll put together now our new, our new development programme in conjunction with the ECB, who are going to look favourably in assisting us with some finance, financial help uh, to get to our objective. So the next two or three years could be very exciting. We announced last night at the AGM that we're going to put the new lights in at the end of the season. So that, that's very positive. The new Rivergate entrance, which we were hoping we would have had for the start of this season, um, will be available and start work at the end of the season. We were ready to go back in February, and then there was a problem with the environmental agency. They put a hold on it. You, some people will have noticed the new bridge that's going across from the park into the town centre. We were going to be doing our work here in conjunction with that until the environmental agency, as I say, had a problem with the riverbank. That's now been resolved, but obviously we can't do it now the season has started, so that work will start at the end of the season. So there'll be a lot happening here during the closed season, but our concentration right now is getting through 2019 and playing cricket the way we know we can and we should be playing. And that's a big challenge for us now. Well, everything in that three-year tenure you've had so far has been put into place, hasn't it? The cricket committee mm -hmm. and the various committees um, that as we've just said, the, the public don't necessarily yep. see. Everything is functioning well. I mean, it obviously is. you're very, very happy with, with that. Um, and the good news, I think, for that most people will be happy with is that the intimate atmosphere of this Chelmsford ground will be retained it will. after the ground development because um, I think that is a feature it of the is. character, isn't it? And it's important. Had. It's important that you have that thing when Chelmsford is a special place. As I go around and talk to other chairmen around the country, 
they all speak about, you know, the, there is an experience when you come to Chelmsford. You know, there is something when you walk through the gate. And it's great that when you come here, people feel like that. And that's what we, we have to encourage. And if you look at all the good work that's being done behind the scenes, we have a commercial activity who are really punching well above their weight in terms of performance and income. They're, you know, they've done some great jobs. Our commercial revenues climb every year. We, you know, we are really bringing in the finances on that side of the business. But I, I said all along that the success of Essex Cricket is about Team Essex. You, know, you only get to where you really want to be if everybody is coming along together. So whether, you, whether you're the backroom staff in sales and marketing, in the retail shop, one of the stewards, everybody has a part to play in making Essex the best club in the country. We're not the biggest, we never will be the biggest, but hey, we can be one of the best run clubs on and off the field.